Hello, my name is Gerald Espinoza, Clinical Specialist for PlanMeca USA. The topic for today's video is Dropper Tool. The Dropper Tool can be used to add to deficient areas such as concavities, a light interproximal contact, allow you to broaden an interproximal contact, and add material to thicken the margin for milling. To use, left click the Dropper Tool. This will make the area of influence appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. We see two yellow spheres. The vertical sphere moves up or down. To adjust, left click and hold and move the mouse. The higher we move it, the more material we add. The lower it goes, the less we add. It will also have the ability to do a negative, which will remove the material when the value is less than zero. The horizontal sphere is adjusted left or right. This reflects the surface area. To adjust, left click and hold and move the mouse. We can adjust to a smaller or larger surface area. When adjusting the horizontal sphere or surface area, we see the dropper icon with a circle around it. It represents the area we will be adding to. Since I was adjusting to show you how it works, I'm going to deactivate and reactivate the dropper tool to reset it to its default. Because majority of the time, the default works great. Remember, if you're following the workflow sheet, you would normally use smooth surface to lighten the contacts. Here we are trying to add to a contact. Let's apply it to the restoration. For an approximate contacts, we can see that this is an open contact without any aqua. With the dropper tool active at its default, simply bring the cursor over the area you want to add. Left click as many times as you needed to gain the aqua with the dark blue. I will also broaden my contact by adding to the left of my contact to make the aqua and dark blue broader. Referring back to the workflow sheet, you will see the dropper tool to correct the thin areas along the margin. Remember, the margin should be evaluated and adjusted with move margin before adding material. I will adjust the vertical sphere down to 0.015 and leave the surface area alone. This will prevent me from creating a bulky margin or changing my contours of my restoration. Left click, material thickness, and hide model. We are going to add to the red or thin areas. We can either left click to the area one click at a time, or we can left click and hold and add a swoosh along the margin. Be careful to move at a steady speed. Going too slow can add too much material and going too fast will not add enough. If we need to go a second time, that's okay but take a measurement if needed before adding more. If you are unfamiliar with a measurement tool, add that to the list of videos to watch. This has been Gerald Espinoza, Clinical Specialist for PlanMeca USA. Thanks for watching today's topic, Dropper Tool. Happy designing!